The scripture for today's devotion is taken from Exodus chapter 32 verses 1 to 6. The portion talks about the golden calf. Exodus narrates God's deliverance to his people. The people of Israel were in bondage and slavery for 400 years under the Egyptian rule. They were crying to God for deliverance. God then chose Moses and prepares him to deliver his people from slavery. The earlier chapters in Exodus describes the supernatural ways in which God rescues his people through Moses. God opens up the Red Sea, quenches their thirst and hunger. Then God commands Moses to come up to Mount Sinai to receive his laws and commands. Moses asks the people of Israel to wait here and goes up for 40 days and 40 nights. In chapter 32 verses 1 till 6, we see that the Israelites get impatient after their long wait for Moses and then they make a golden calf and proclaim it their God. Two important points could be meditated upon on the basis of the above portion. The first one, God's timing. The Bible portion narrates that according to the people of Israel, Moses was delayed. According to their schedule and timings, Lord was taking too long a time to respond to them through Moses. Their little understanding and perception could not wait for the greater plan that God had for them. They were impatient and their impatience led to anxiety. We also face similar situations in our lives. In times of need, as we pray to our Lord for an answer, we often want God to work in accordance with our timings and our desires. Just like the Israelites had forgotten how their Lord had his perfect timing to deliver them from slavery, we too tend to forget the awesome ways in which our loving Lord had worked in perfect timings day and night to actually bring us all the goodness that we have today. We have to understand that we human are in submission to God and not vice versa. We need not be shaken by fear and anxiety. Remember, He causes you to wait on purpose, to strengthen you. The scripture says, Those who wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. The second point is God's image. The Israelites had known God as their Savior in hardships and they wanted His presence with all their heart. But their image of God was different. They casted an image of God that they wanted and worshipped. They defined God according to their understanding. All that they had as blessings was some gold and they casted all the gold that they had to an idol and worshipped it as God. We also have a tendency to worship our blessings in life. We give priority to our job, kids, family. We worship our blessings and we tend to put our commitment to God secondary. The later chapters of Exodus says that when Israelites defined their God, an idol made of gold, they invited the Lord God's anger. In our day-to-day -day life, we also worship the blessings and seldom seek His real image. We turn the blessings into idols and restrict our world to revolve around it. Let's pray. Loving Lord, Your words assure us to trust You. We realize that You have a greater plan for our lives. Give us the strength to wait with patience for your deliverance and not to move to golden calves for worship. Enrich us with your Holy Spirit to know you and to trust completely in you. Amen.